Well, welcome, viewers, to the latest edition of uh, Casino Life and Sports Betting Operator. My name is Peter White, and I'm the publisher of this media. Um, today, we're uh, fortunate to uh, have an uh, interview with Paul Steelman, Chief Executive of Steelman Partners. Welcome, Paul. Thank you, Peter, and thank you for having me today. Paul, this is a, a casino that um, is, is familiar to your good selves because I believe you were involved with the what is a, a thorough refurbishment. Well, we were, Peter, and we we're very pleased with it. We've heard that it's great success. Uh, we were very pleased to work with uh, uh, the 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 uh, the team there at uh, at the Metropolitan and, and Mike Siberling and every and the entire staff to develop something we consider a little bit more Las Vegas meets London. Of course, we've always been highly respectful of the gaming in London and we understand it well. And of course, I'm a member of a couple of the clubs there when membership was really necessary. And, uh, you know, I understand the gaming well, and we said, well, you know, it can't be old, it can't be stuffy. It's gotta be designed for younger people. It's got to have a vibe to it. It's got to be unique. And uh, of course, this building in Mayfair, it's well, it's kind of an office building. You know, it sits in a pretty historic neighborhood. You couldn't really touch it too much, although we tried, I might, must admit. But, um, you know, I always thought that uh, in designing this with the team, and uh, I thought that it would be a very, very interesting way to reintroduce ourselves back into Europe and and design something a little bit modern, a little bit fresh, having some of the things that we know are great attractions in Las Vegas, such as the tandem based activities of the bars and restaurants and things of this nature. Uh, so we're we're very happy about that. Um, Paul, uh, the end finally question. Uh, what, what have you uh, got opening in 2023 and uh, into the future? What are the latest projects you're involved with? We do have a new slot machine we designed as well called Running Rich, and we just received our Nevada license. It tested out very well. Uh, we're very anxious to start putting it around various casinos, but it's the first driving slot machine. Excellent. So it, uh, I'll look out for that next time in Vegas. Thank you for your time. Cheers for now. All right. Welcome, viewers, to the latest edition of uh, Casino Life and Sports Betting Operator. My name is Peter White, and I'm the publisher of this media. Today, we're privileged to have Bo Bernard, Vice President of UNLV, and uh, he's here to let us know all exciting developments at the university. Thanks for having me. This is going to be a fun conversation. Now, am I correct in saying you're in charge of UNLV's economic development that includes the new Harry Reid Research and Technology Park campus, its Black Fire Innovation Hub, and the UNLV Incubator. 
Yeah, that, that's what I oversee. It's uh, so like a lot of universities uh, and an increasing number, um, we are bringing the best of from the university to the business community and looking at ways in which our university strengths can be brought to bear in business environments in a variety of ways. So we have over 100 companies uh, engaged with us here. They are most all of them uh, companies like Microsoft and Intel and Adobe on the tech side that uh, I'm sure you've heard of. And what's really fun for the students is to get to work on research projects, for example, with uh, companies like that in a way that really furthers their experience and transforms their educational lives. And, and I guess the, the university itself is going to evolve as yeah. well. I mean, I know that when we, we were chatting in, in, in Las Vegas during the G2E show, you mentioned about LG and, and um, yeah. you know, the, your, your pitch to them, given that they do about, I don't know how many, was it 150,000 or something? It's a massive amount of screens. Yeah, the, I mean, so LG is here in uh, our tech park, in our Black Fire Innovation Hub. Because, yeah, there are 150,000 hotel rooms in Las Vegas. <laughs> Several of them have multiple screens, of course. And so what we have just outside my door, I wish I could walk you over there, uh, are things like a cylindrical television that can be watched from all sides. Uh, and it's just mind-blowing, right? Uh, yeah. But, of course, uh, that becomes a, a foundation for something like, for, for example, a video game, right, uh, to be enjoyed in the entertainment economy. Uh, and what we hope for our students, right, because at the end of the day, we are teachers uh, here at the university, is that they are, by virtue of interacting with these kinds of companies and seeing the vast potential of the business world outside of our campus, um, you know, what triggered what's triggered in them is an innovation spirit to invent the game that's to be played on that cylindrical TV. And I have to say, as a teacher, I've been teaching for over two decades now at the university. I think the students we put out now are way smarter than the ones we used to put out just by virtue of the fact that these new kinds of, we call them pedagogies, approach to teaching, where you invent a solution, uh, I think adds and complements our traditional curriculum of sort of turn to chapter 13, this is what we're covering this week, and this will be on the test. Uh, so I think we're getting better at it as well, hopefully, in a way that churns out a smarter leader for tomorrow's gaming industry and indeed tomorrow's television industry with LG. Well, it's been a pleasure catching up with you, Bo, and uh, uh, thank you for, for working with us with this situation and um, look forward to at some point catching up with you in the future. But for now, I'll be out at ice and uh, hopefully I'll see you then. <laughs> yes, indeed. Look forward to it. All right. Cheers for now. Take care.